Hey guys, uh, Vapster Claw King here. Um, I just wanted to touch up on something that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, with this whole, uh, uh, youth vaping whatever thing right now, it's kind of sucky because, um, they want to go and say that vaping is targeting kids or kids or whatever. Anyways, they want to go and try to, uh, use that against the whole vaping deal and all that other stuff. And the president is all worried about the youth you doing vaping and all that other shit. Anyways, when I first started smoking, I was underage. I was a minor. All they wanted to do was basically make it where you can't be old enough to smoke or buy it. But when it came down to it, it was no big deal. When it came to that, the president really didn't do anything. Um, there was really, the only laws was don't sell to minors and it was against the law. Anyways, they're not, they weren't making such a big deal about it. But when it comes down to vaping, they want to go and say, oh, vaping is targeting kids and all that other shit. Um, long story, I guess not long story short, but the, my point is, it just doesn't make sense to me. They, um, no real true, uh, um, tests have actually been done on vaping to prove, oh, this did this or this did that. But, and they're trying to ban it, which doesn't make sense because we got tobacco products that have already been tested and proven 20, 30 years, maybe even more than that, that you can get lung cancer, regular, whatever kind of cancer, you can get um, a COPD and all that other junk and it's FDA approved and they're not trying to ban it. And then you got alcohol that has also been proven if you get wasted, that you can end up in an accident or wherever the case may be. And they, like, and that's legal. I'm not saying drunk driving or whatever is legal. No, I'm saying that alcohol is legal. And... There are side effects where you get wasted and you can end up in an accident. Same instance with tobacco substances. You can get cancer, you can get COPD. My birth father passed away uh, January 1st of this year from COPD. If, he, if the FDA and all these other people didn't put the, like how bad vaping really is and actually tell the truth about it and how it is a safer alternative my birth father would probably still be here today thanks fucking FDA and news and all the other shit I understand that they didn't put the cigarette in my dad's mouth but they didn't make it any easier I tried to gum, I tried the lozenges, I tried Chantex, I tried all that shit it doesn't work too many fucking damn side effects. If you want to go and try to ban something that is a quit smoking aid, do Chantex. There's a hell of a lot more fucking side effects that have actually been proven that it's not good. I've been on it. Okay. Um, I've been, I felt suicidal while on it. I had weird ass dreams. I had the feeling of actually going and trying to beat the crap out of somebody. And that was on Chantex. Did I ever have that with the vape? No. Okay, I have had chest pains with the lozenges. The gum and the patch has never worked for me. And get this, all that is FDA approved. Because it fucking doesn't work. Or it actually has side effects. Vaping, 
really has it has minimal side effects. I'm not saying it doesn't have any because everything has side effects, okay? I'm not going to go say vaping the cures cancer or, or vaping is going to do this or that or it's healthier than that than air because I ain't going to go say that because that's false. But what I am going to say is vaping has saved my life and if you're smoking and you're believing that bullshit, you better get that feather out of your ass and actually get, slap some sense into you, because it's all fucking false. I got this, I got a learning disability, and I even know that's some bullshit. They're going in saying it does this, it does that, or this THC fucking black market, they're all saying, oh, if people died from vaping. No, it's the fucking black market THC bullshit. I'm having a lot of, I've had a lot of arguments with people. I got just steamed up their day with somebody going and saying that the FDA does give a fuck. Yeah, they give a fuck about their fucking money. Excuse my vulgar, my vulgar language, my cursing or whatever, but it pisses me off when the president says, oh, he's all uh, well worried about the youth. He doesn't give a fuck about his shit. Okay, all he gives a fuck about is making his dollars or his millions being a boss and trying to scandal shit and freaking dem demeaning women. So, do you know what it all boils down to? You know, I don't know. This whole bullshit about if vaping is bad or vaping isn't a healthier alternative. Bullshit, because I have smelled better. I can breathe better. And when I say smell better or taste better, that means I smell better when I'm walking in or when I go somewhere. I don't smell like cigarettes when I taste better. What I mean is when I kiss my wife, she doesn't she doesn't taste me like a fucking ashtray. Um breathe better, I can actually breathe better. I can taste different foods better. Foods taste different, which there are some things that used to be appealing to me that ain't appealing to me anymore. Um, there's just a lot more into it. I could do 150 push-ups now. I could barely do 10 when I was a smoker. Okay, I could run 5 miles nowadays. When I was a smoker, I could barely run a freaking block. So, when it boils all down to it, President Donald Trump, FDA, news, media, whatever, get off your fucking rocker, start telling the truth. I mean, because the truth is going to come out sooner or later, and I think that's the reason why you guys are trying to ban it right now. I mean, that's kind of the reason why I'm starting to make my own. That's the reason I'm trying to buy all my shit now. I ain't going to go back to smoking just because, the, oh, they ban it, they... Make it illegal. I'm sorry. I mean, I was at three and a half to four and a half packs of cigarettes a day. Non-filters. Okay, I ain't going back to that shit. I quit for... I didn't even quit really for myself at the time. I quit for my wife and my son. Okay, and that's what matters most. And I'm doing this for them. Government needs to fucking lay off. Because when it... I'm telling you right now... We already got attorneys right now that if something happens to me where if this ban goes in effect and they make a, a vaping legal, I mean illegal, sorry, and I have to go back to smoking and I die from it, we're fucking suing the government. Because I got a lot of evidence myself that it is already been proven that smoke that vaping really doesn't have shit okay I already got friends that are already on this I got friends and family member that are in the medical field I have my doctor that is behind me I got several people that are in the medical field that are behind me on this and you know I'm not saying that um that I got that I can now beat everybody or I'll beat the government. But I will 
and my family will. Zoo. I got some family that used to serve in the armed forces and all that other shit. Before the FDA and all that other shit starts going and telling their shit, make sure they got their uh, facts right. I've done my research. Freaking VG is used in cooking shit. Number two, if you look at a bottle of shampoo, it even says VG. Uh, does that mean we're supposed to stop brushing our teeth and stop? Oh, yeah. Also, does that mean we should stop uh, making uh, pudding and making, uh, uh, what is that called? Uh, uh, gelatin? Because that all has VG in here and warming it up on the stove. They're saying with well, he heating up. It's not good to inhale. Well, people do that almost on a daily basis just to make pudding or to make other household shit that you eat or drink or use on your body or whatever. We use that shit every day. VG and PG is both used in, um, as some are used in aerosol cans. Um, VG and PG are definitely 100% used in, um, Inhalers, rescue inhalers, nebulizers, um, the Vic shit. Um, the only thing that you can't really find is the, and find anything else is the nicotine. You can find all this other shit and other stuff. So does that mean we should ban that too? I mean, come on. So FDA and media and all that shit, get your news and get your all your shit straight. Because if you don't, this is going to fall. You guys are going to fall, and you guys are going to fall fucking hard. But I just want to put my two cents in, really, about all this, and especially the underage vaping and all the other shit, like I said before. They didn't really give a fuck about minors smoking and all that other shit, and they knew the effects then. It, well, where was the government then? Where was the FDA then? Yeah, they had fucking shit on the back of, on the side of the cigarettes and the side of can of chew and shit. And you couldn't buy it unless you were of age. But that didn't stop us. So, just try to make actual legitimate and reasonable um, uh, restrictions and regulations. And don't ban it because all that's going to do is fuck you guys over. And make us go, like they said, to the black market, which is completely unsafe, or it's either which way it's going to fall. And again, I said this here a second ago, and you guys are going to fall hard. Anyways, I just wanted to touch bases on that with you guys. I haven't put a video up here on YouTube or whatever for so long. I'm also going to share this video on Instagram. If I showed it on Instagram and you're seeing this on Instagram, then... Uh, just to let you know, this is also on YouTube. YouTube, this is also on Instagram. Anyways, this is Vapes, uh, Vapester Cloud King here. And you guys have a great day. By the way, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. And uh, Chris, uh, Chris uh, Vapester Cloud King is out. Goodbye.